So I'm turning the turkeys over from a turkey starter to a turkey grower. And basically it just cuts it down from 28% protein down to 20%. It's pretty much all I can see on the label. They're probably at about 10 weeks now, maybe, maybe three months. The consistency itself yesterday was more on the starter and then this today is the first day on the grower. So it's a combination of some crumble and more pellet for now the turkeys being bigger and being able to handle the pellet feed. But the chickens I had switched over when I ran out of the starter feed probably after about six weeks or so and they've been on grower. Just uh, ran out, the turkeys weren't going through their feed as fast. When I ran out of that, now moved them over to the turkey grower feed. Let's go see how the mouse traps and bends and spider web on my face. And sounds worked last night. Okay, the problem I first see is that I'm now gonna have to work to get to my mice traps. One down there. Sticky trap there. Sticky trap back there. Sticky trap there. No mice. So the sound deals right there. They were a couple bucks at the hardware store. They were on clearance. Send out a sound every 210 seconds. Not sure why 210 seconds. So three and a half minutes, they do this. Well, it's nice and it probably scares the mice away in here, but we can hear it all over the yard. It is nice. It's keeping the mice away in here. The chickens, if they get relatively close to the to the shed over here, they run away. So it's, it's doing its job. It's definitely scaring animals away, but it's intense. I really only want it to probably go at night. We are sitting outside for lunch, so I'm gonna turn them off for now and turn them back on a little later today. in the jungle, seeing what the chickens are getting to, what they're eating, you know, looking it over to see what we need to do to bring it down a little bit. I'm walking along the fence line. Come on, bud. Go ahead. Go ahead. So we're just checking it over, making sure everybody's doing all right out here. Hadn't been out here much today. Come up with a game plan of take out more of this land without having to mow it or cut it down. Because over here, it is as tall as us. This right here is about my height, about six foot. Some of the stuff is six foot and over here is getting into seven foot stuff. We definitely need to get a weed eater in here and get it cleared out a little bit thinner. I think that would help out so the chickens can have a little, have cause right paths. now it's too thick. Of course they might not get the big stuff. These six boys and girls here were hatched out by a school teacher friend of ours about two months ago. So they're closing in on eight weeks old. We've got an episode called the late night flock merger, which is exactly what we're gonna do tonight. We're gonna move them in with the flock this evening, just so they'll get adjusted at night, not be picked on too much, and in the morning they can come out with everybody. But we need to move Mama Hen and her five chicks into here. If we had a chicken crib, we would put them in it so they could be outside and be with everybody and then be able to get to their food and not have everyone else pick on them or get to their food. But we don't have one of those, so we'll just put them in this chicken tractor until they're big enough to be in with the flock. We do have a bigger John Siskovich chicken tractor like we do over at the shop. We just need a new tarp for it to be able to move it in. It got too ripped up over the last couple months from last year's tarp and that just has to be replaced. We need to move these six chickens into the flock tonight. And we need to move Mama Hen and her five chicks into the chicken tractor to get them into a mobile tractor that we can get them on fresh grass every day. Let's go evict some chickens.
Bump it. Bump it. Bump it. Fence is closed. Electric fence is on. Chickens are moved. Time for baths. Have a good night, everyone.